that's him typing on a keyboard. For some reason, he has three different keyboards. What's going on, everybody? Jay Hayes, just the same, be doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review and the sheer factor of wow alone. I was browsing the old YouTube land and I'm like, okay, well, what is the most expensive mod that anybody has ever done a review? And, you know, just a little quick search, you pull up two really main factor videos. There's one that is by Twisted in regards to the dot mod with the cubic zirconia all over it, something about 1800 bucks. <laughs> whatever and then there was another one sixty dollars versus two thousand now keep in mind <laughs> both of those videos are not high-end i don't know what they are well i guess the timekeeper isn't horrible but i definitely would not say that it's worth two thousand dollars now I, i'm not trying to sit here and toot my own horn but i would definitely consider myself to be an entrepreneur if you will or a conciliary in regards to knowing i don't know if that's the right word but i'm just going to go with it because it sounds expensive in regards to looking at a device saying okay this is worth some money i've got a lot of mods guys listen this isn't a bragging thing this is just to validate how well i know high end I have some of the most rarest, one-of-a-kind, one-offs, very low numbers, whether it's the M Addy or it's something like a Wapari or a Carlos Creation. I have a lot of devices, and I can promise you right now, this is the most amount of money that I've ever spent on any device. Without a doubt. Get ready for this. You're gonna need to put your fucking shoes on and put a seatbelt on your computer chair because this is gonna blow you away. 2,900 euros. Now, I don't know the conversion rate by the time you watch this, but that's 3,400 US dollars. Okay, that's, that's not a joke. That, that's legitimately what this is. Days are going by here. I'm talking to Marco, the owner, and I'm like, man, do I really want to spend that kind of money on a box mod? I don't know, man. I don't know. And then I'm like, well, no one is ever going to do a review for that. So no one is ever going to get to see that. So if I do the review, at least people that have never heard of this company or want to see the most expensive retail priced mod there is, this is the only way they're going to see it. That's literally the only way. So I guess in a way I'm kind of doing you a fucking favor. That's a joke. No, but for real. Let's be serious. And then I'm like, well, if no one is going to see this, then no one knows about this company. Now, there are a lot of people that know Stranger Mods. Like, that's the name of the company. And I think everybody that knows of this company knows how much their mods cost. My original goal was to get this version and a black version and then break the black version because I didn't want to break this version. Then I said to myself, this is really extreme. Do I want to go outside? Do I want to break something that's worth $3,500? Like, like, there, there's, there's no way I could possibly do that. It's not a matter of burning money, because I could give a shit about that. What I care about is, well, this is handmade. And this doesn't come in, like, a beautiful wooden box with some gold and sterling silver inlays. It's literally just a box with a shoelace that has the name of the company written all over it. Now, I have mods that are worth seven grand. I don't think any of them have ever sold for 3,000 American dollars off the jump. A lot of that factors in like a baseball card. You know, I know some people look at this and they're like, oh, this is a mod, why would it be so expensive? Well, you know what, listen, you can get either a Seco or Casio. I don't know how to say either of those correctly. I think Casio was it, now it's owned by Sony. Or you could get a fucking Rolex, right? Or you could get a phone like everybody else in the world that does the same exact shit, if not does more than what a, a, a wristwatch would do. Don't give me that shit that there should be no reason why there's high-end vape. They all do the same thing. Yeah, you know what? All wallpaper and art do the same thing too. And guess what? All shoes do the same thing. Protect your fucking feet. But you don't see... Bobby Joe, maybe you do, wearing fucking high heels in the middle of the winter. He's probably wearing some boots. Unless, of course, he's a hybrid. That's a different story. But we're not here for that. We're here for this. Don't sit there on your end and say, listen, there should be no reason why there's I am. They all do the same shit. Well, listen, doesn't all things that you drink quench your thirst? So there's no difference between Coca-Cola and water if we're using your reference. So anyway, let's move forward. Let's let's not backtrack. Let's stay focused. I already know there's that one guy behind the computer. That's what he's doing. He's already pumped up. He's writing some shit that doesn't make any sense. And he's... <laughs> 
that's him typing on a keyboard. For some reason, he has three different keyboards. I, I, I just, I don't know what to say about that, but I'm gonna tell you this. This thing is a work of art, without a doubt. It's going to be very, very, very difficult for me to rate this. I don't know if I'm going to, considering the fact that it's literally in a class of its own. The only thing that I could think of is a mod that is now worth that amount of money to compare it to that. However, the problem is, is a lot of the mods that are worth that kind of money, either A, people have and they're very, very much used, and obviously that decreases in value, or most people don't even have those devices, don't even know what I'm talking about. You've had to have been in a game since at least 2014 to see some of these mods. A lot of those companies have essentially went out of business. Well, Pari is a great example. They were a pioneer in some of the best stabilized wood box mods I've ever seen, without a doubt. So much so, I don't even have them in the store. They're actually at my house. Just because if, if something falls or some shit, nope. Not gonna happen, especially now that your company is gone. I don't know if they went defunct or what the situation is, I just know that they are no longer. Let me give you one more little argument. If you're hungry, you wouldn't mind having pork and beans over a lobster and steak. They both do the same thing. They're both food. Why does it matter? Some people would prefer pork and beans, and to those people, whew. <clears throat> I'm more of a soup kitchen kind of guy. I've dealt with every single European, Asian country in regards to high-end box mods. One of the hardest countries for me to get a hold of and actually get along with is Italy. I don't know what it is. Maybe they just don't like the way that I am. The Lizard box mods, great company, Mario. Then this is Marco, great dude. It's just that the price point of what this is, most people would never, ever, ever, ever buy something like this. All this is gonna do essentially is sit on my shelf. I will never use this, and I'll explain why. On the Titanium RDA, I made a comment saying that Titanium is very, very hard, but it's very, very soft. And it seems like kind of a oxymoron, like icy hot doesn't make sense, but it does. Titanium is a very, very hard metal on a Rockwell scale, meaning it's very difficult difficult to bend. It's solid. It feels good, but it's lightweight. However, it's soft because it scratches really easy. For instance, if you got it in your pocket and you, you were just at the beach, you, you got some sand in your pocket, it might, might scratch up the mod. That is something you have to factor in when we're talking about something as high end as what this is. So this is 100% the most expensive high end box mod ever made. Now there may be that one off where the guy's charging 14,000. This is not that case. This is truly what it is. 2,900 euros, three made. I have one, the owner has one, and I'm not quite sure if the other one is for sale. Now this is the same guy that legitimately has box mods and the metals that are on, I think it's on the, on the Modena, are manufactured in the Pagani factory. I'm just saying, not this one, the Modena, but this is also called the TT. And what do I drive? A TTRS. What do I know? So let's just do this, because I know you are dying to see this just as well as I am. Let's flip it. Stranger Mods, Minuta. Not 100% sure how you would say that. I'm just going to go with that because it sounds about right. It does come with this lovely shoelace that is lacking aglets on the end of it, so I'm assuming it's just a ribbon. Go ahead and pull that, and it is, in fact, double bowed. Now, I did show this on a Facebook Live video when I got it in the mail. On the front of the box, Strangers Mods, and then it says Distingo Vapors. I'm assuming that's Italian for, like, distinguished. Minuta, and, of course, this is a gold foil on the top of it. Flip this box over and you get a lovely sticker. Now this is where all the magic happens. Strangers Mods made in Italy and then it says the model number which is Minuta TT. Titanium and then that is the chip that we're going to be running the SX350JV2. That is the same chip that's in the Q-Mini. I feel like I should just put gold bars on the front of the screen when I open this up. Inside the box you're going to get a little postcard which is essentially the same exact thing that is on the back side of the box that's showing you the serial number and then the version of the chip that is inside there. And I'm assuming that's the owner's signature. That is in fact written, that's not printed. There is nothing else inside of this box. That is basically all that you get. So, I was thinking that when I was going to do the review for this, I was going to use a pair of gloves. 
Then I said, eh, I don't want to be that tool to do a review with fucking latex gloves on. Do you know how sweaty my hands would be at the end of this? So here you go. What I'm going to do real quick is just kind of showcase all of this for you. So what we have is a full titanium body. Your buttons are stainless steel. Your battery door on the bottom is stainless steel. And then your 510 up here is stainless steel. Those are not titanium. Titanium resides on the rest of this. Now there is some minute scratches on the top up there, but I can promise you that that is not from a dripper. That looks like either it was in a box or it was in something that was scratching this up. Now there is going to be a dripper on the top of that, and this is polished stainless steel. Usually with polished anything, whether it's titanium, stainless steel, aluminum, it's very, very prone to fingerprints. So, as you see there, there's my fingerprint. But these scratches feel it should be a little bit more flawless than what that is. Now, the body of the mod, I don't know what that is. Hold on. Let me see it drying up. Okay, so it was just a little bit of yuckies there. There we go. Okay. Being ex-military for so many years, I'm very, very attentive to details. I'm going to see a little bit of flaws, a little bit of dings, dents, burrs, spurs, all types of different cowboy boots. Now, what I see here is up here, lovely polish situation going on, really no flaws. Yeah, at certain angles, it might, let me try something, let's try something. You see, it looks pretty good there. Yeah, I, I think it's the light that's causing it to look dirty. Simple operation, you have your fire up here, up and down, down here. Now this is not DNA 75. The chip that's in here is a Yee -hee. I kind of wish it was a DNA, but it's not like I'm ever going to use this. You see that from me just holding my finger on there, how that causes that little bit of yuckiness there? Yep, you must be really, really, really careful on using because this thing gets dirty super, super quick. The body of this and this front faceplate is all in fact titanium. It's not till you get to the buttons, the contact down here, the screws, and the top part that's gonna be stainless steel. So this is your door. Again, you do see a little bit of scratching going on right here. I'm assuming that is the machining. Again, for the price point that this is at, I feel like this should not look like this at all. It is the inside and you're not really gonna see that, but we have to be extremely extremely meticulous at this point for the price point that we're sitting at. Now you guys have to keep in mind, I did buy this. This is was not sent to me for a review. I don't know if there's been ever anybody out there that's been sent to Stranger Mods for a review. Inside there you're gonna have a little sticker that's gonna show you the battery orientation of what the battery should be in there. Now when you first try to put a battery in here, it may not look like it fits because of this wire. That is, in fact, the wire for the positive, not the ground. The ground is down there at the bottom. I'll tell you what, there's no scratches anywhere on this mod. The stainless steel looks more flawed than the uh, titanium from the owner and the designer and i guess the assembly man of this whole situation has told me that the wires on this are extremely short and that is to alleviate a lot of the internal resistance that's typically a problem you see with a lot of dna's is they don't really calibrate the chip for the box mod that it's in and the internal resistance to compensate for what it is now for those of you that don't understand what i'm saying if you've ever gotten let's just say a 0.5 coil right or a 0.6 and no matter what mod you put that on it says 0.5 and you put it on a DNA that reads it too high or too low, that means that they're not factoring in the internal resistance. With this, that is supposed to be factored in already. So right there, you're positive to go on the top. If it doesn't look like it fits, don't panic. Just kind of move that wire over, and that's going to go in just like that. And then this is going to go in. A little bit of pressure here. Don't be nervous. And there you go. 350J. Me and this chip go way back. So once again, this is the full titanium strangers mod TT. Let's bring it on the top. Back on top of the most expensive setup retail out of the box. What we're working with is the Napoleon RDA sitting on the top of that. Go ahead and I'll post a link right there. And of course the strangers mods. Minuta TT full titanium number two out of three. Let me show you some vapor production because this better feel like an angel is breathing down my throat when I vape. One of the issues you run into with any kind of titanium situation is 
first off, titanium gets very hot, and it takes a long time for it to dissipate. And for anybody out there, if you ever got like any kind of exhaust manifold for your car or something where they're like, don't touch that. And the reason being is not because it's hot. I mean, out of the packaging, we're saying don't touch it. I'm sure everybody out there in the world has seen exhaust that was chrome at some point or polished stainless steel up by the headers, you know, that attaches to the engine, and it gets very blue like burnt titanium blue. Now, if you were to touch that prior to putting that on there, getting your oils on it, what's gonna happen is when that burns in, it's going to burn into the metal. So your fingerprint will always be there. Now, I don't know if you could polish it out, but I don't think you can just because it's burnt into the metal. Now with titanium, first off, your dripper shouldn't be getting that hot where you're getting burnt fingerprints on the dripper. Something is wrong. As cool as titanium is, as light as it is, as strong as it is, as sexy as it looks, it has a lot of flaws and usually, Things that are real medical grade or grade five titanium are very, very, very expensive. Now I know people are gonna use the argument and say that Goon LP titanium. I'd be willing to bet that's not pure titanium just because the price point that it's at is a little bit ridiculous. 120 bucks? I feel like that's a little too low for a full grade titanium RDA. What do I know though? The biggest question people are gonna ask is, does it function any differently than a mod that's 50 bucks, or 30 bucks, or $100? 20 bucks, probably, but uh, when you're talking about the upper tier, 50, 100 bucks, I really don't think that there's much difference, but you have to look at these like they're artwork. So you have amps, watts, volts, drains, jewels, all these different things that most mods share in comparison. But the thing is, is as much as they all share it, they all basically function the same. There's nothing really too different about them. Now, some may do temp control, others do not. I know a lot of people don't like temp control on the SX chips, but they like them on the DNA. And then if you ask more people about temp control, they're gonna say die codes over DNA. This is tough. Also with titanium, you have to worry about something matching it. For instance, this is stainless steel, but this does have stainless steel buttons, so it just blends well. But usually when something is titanium like this, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to get a pewter type stainless steel that would look good with that. However, because this does have stainless steel accents, you can get away with it. Only other review you're going to find for a stranger's mod would be a bloody good vaping. Now that guy is just straight high end. That's all he is, Damien. And it was two years ago. It wasn't anything as of recently that they've made. Now, I'm assuming the reason why that is is because they don't really send it out to reviewers to do reviews on it because, well, there's not really much of a point. And if it's truly as expensive as it is, that would be a very big hole in your pocket to send it out to reviewers. And then on the same side of that coin, there's not a lot of American reviewers that really do high end of this caliber. Matter of fact, there's not many of them in the world that do it, probably because they'd be broke after about 10 reviews. <laughs> if I bought, put it like this, you could buy 10 of these or a brand new nice car. I'm telling you the only way to acquire this, if you are interested, is via his Facebook group. That's it. There's no website to buy anything. There might be people that are flipping them, but this is not a mod that you're gonna see a lot of all over Facebook for sale. It's not that it's rare, it's just really, really, really expensive. Even just for the regular Modena version. Like, they are, I don't know what he lives in. Like, he's gotta live in a mansion with eight Lamborghinis and six Ferraris. Yeah, I'm profiling. I, I don't know what else, I don't. Listen, if you, if you shake that off like, eh, Whatever, I got three grand for a mod. I wanna know how much money's in your bank account. I'm never gonna use this device. Not because I'm scared that I may drop it or I may break it or I may fall or it may patina. None of that matters to me. What matters is whether I'm happy with the chip that's on the inside of it. And if I feel like it's a device I would use, I have really veered away from single 18650s unless I'm using squonks. I really, really, really can appreciate the fact that this was made by someone by hand. I can. 
I cannot, however, appreciate the fact in telling you that this is the best mod that I've ever used. There are devices that are much, much, much cheaper than this. By like, take a zero off the end, and then another 50 bucks. It's a nice collector's piece. What more else can I say? I know that I have to rate this because there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna say, why didn't you rate it? Why wasn't that a thing that you factored in when doing a review for it? And my answer to that is really simple. There is nothing else in this category. Literally nothing. To be honest with you, what really hurts this rating is the price point. It really does. Now, I know that there's some people that don't care about money that have got plethoras of it to burn, and it's not that big of a deal. But when you're talking about 3,000 American dollars, that's a lot. Out the door with that initial setup, the box mod, the dripper, the shipping, we're talking $3,800. If I was to rate this device on a 0 to 10, I'm going to give it a 5, 5.5. 5. I'd say two or three of those points are chipped off just because of the price point that this is at. There was a little bit of dirt, but that was easily wipe offable. As far as the finishing marks, it did look like where the rivets are for your hand does look like to be a little flawed, but that is in fact, you can really see it there. It's really, really good looking. It was just a light that was causing it to be kind of scuffed up. That's not necessarily a problem. I just don't think that this is really legitimately worth even $2,500. But if there's someone out there that has lots of money to throw away, this is the definition of what high-end is. It's very hard for a lot of people to say, okay, listen, this is what makes a high-end high-end and it's the price point. But there's a lot, there's price point, there's you know whether or not someone else will consider that high-end. There's a machining, how it's machined, where it's machined, what metals, what did they use, what types of machines. There's so many things that factor into what the definition of what high end is and this falls in that category the only problem for me is i can't see why anybody in the world would spend three thousand dollars for a regulated mod unless of course it's made out of platinum or palladium that's officially the most expensive mod that you could buy retail that someone's not trying to flip to make money or has bought and tried to resell it that's a literally bone stock the way that it is from the manufacturer and I've kept it real. Have you? Check it out.